Shalom, 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 Israel. It's your rock, Brother Ugly. It's been a little while since I've done a video. My previous uh, vehicle, dubbed the Ugly Mobile, didn't have a very good dash for uh, having my camera. But since I've been blessed with a new vehicle, I thought I'd take her out for a spin and uh, share a little something with you. Um, I'm not a teacher by any means, you know, I am with the Straightway Truth Ministry under the pastorship of uh, Pastor Charles Dowell. We have several pastors, elders, and uh, Teacher Shane who have been ordained to be teachers. I'm not a pastor, I'm not an evangelist, I'm not an apostle, I'm just a brother, I'm just a servant. But. Uh, I just wanted to uh, edify the assembly and, and maybe spread some encouragement. And the topic I'm going to choose today, uh, Saints, is giving thanks. Our Yah is worthy. Everything we have. From the first uh, breath you take when you wake up in the morning, you know, to the good food that you're given to eat to sustain yourself. If you have a warm bed, a roof over your head, raiment to keep you warm and clothed, and if you're in your right mind, you know, meaning of a sober and sound mind. You know, that, that's just the beginning. Those are the basics. We should be thankful for that every day. But not only that, not only did our Creator create us, give us all these things, He came and manifested Himself in the flesh, and He suffered and made the ultimate sacrifice to pay for our sins. And if he's called you, if he's called you to repent and keep his commandments and worship him, he's written your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And that means eternal life. If you're willing to do what it takes. And his yoke is easy. I mean, it's a narrow path. If anything, what makes it difficult is our flesh and this world and the devil and the wickedness around you that tries to keep you from being holy and set apart. Actually, keeping the commandments is not hard at all. Our instructions are simple, and when you follow them, they just bless you. So every day when you wake up, several times a day as you pray, and every day before you go to bed, you should be giving thanks. I mean, Jesus said, if you love him, keep his commandments. So obviously, obeying him is the best way to show him that you love him. You know, showing that you're serious, fasting, dying to your flesh daily, doing whatever you can, you know, to, to kill the flesh and allow the spirit to overcome. But, you know, it starts just by having gratitude. We all have a testimony. We've all come from somewhere. You know, we've all been in darkness and in sin until our eyes are opened. And if we're now, you know, in a place where We've turned from our sin, we're seeking holiness, growing in understanding and wisdom and power every day. It's the only thing that makes life worthwhile. You realize that before coming to this walk, you were essentially dead. So saints, uh, stay encouraged. Our Yah is worthy. 
and he's there, you know. It can be a lonely road, it can be a hard road, Terry for the Holy Spirit. Because when you get the comforter, then that's what's going to give you the strength and the discernment that you need to succeed in this walk. Our Messiah is good. Not only did he atone for our sins, but he made a way and said he would not leave us alone and, and he would send a comforter. And he's made good on that promise, you can believe me. So, what else can I tell you, saints? I don't want to be too long for you here. I don't want to be long-winded, but I know there's a lot of new saints in the ministry. Some may know who I am, some may not. But I just wanted to poke my head out, let you know your brother Ugly loves you. Or Brother Paul, if you prefer. But, Yah really is good. He's worthy. And uh, we should always do our best for him. We could never, uh, we could never do what he's done for us. We can never repay him. No matter how much you pray and fast, keep the commandments. Nothing we can do can ever measure up. But, you know, our Father is all-knowing, so He knows. He knows what we're capable of, and He knows what He can expect from us. So, you know, as long as you... Sincerely do your best. I think that's all he really asks. Time is getting short. Time is running out. For any believers that are tuning in who are not with the Straightway Ministry or not familiar with us, or our pastor Charles Dowell, uh, Pastor Joe Fox from Shofar Mountain, Pastor uh, John Tatum, or Pastor Corey Phillips. Uh, you know, you can check us out at straightwaytruth.com. Uh, check out Pastor Dowell's uh, YouTube channel and the Straightway Tech Team YouTube channel for all the archived teachings and, and Shabbat services. But, uh, you know, Jesus said, These signs shall follow those who believe. In my name they will speak new tongues, they will cast out devils, you know, they will lay hands on the sick, and the sick will recover. You know, if if you claim to be a believer, and these signs are not following you, well, these are the words of Messiah. He's not a liar. So if the signs aren't following, the question is, do you believe? You know, maybe you do believe, but you lack the teaching and understanding. So is your ministry engaged in spiritual warfare, casting out devils, doing, continuing the work of the ministry that Christ started with his disciples and the, and the 70 that he first appointed? You know, if your answer is no, then you might want to look somewhere else. And I'm not saying you have to be part of our ministry. Uh, you know, look around, test the spirits. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. Personally, I have not seen a pastor or a ministry or pastors like ours that that have a balance and that walk in power that that manifests the Holy Spirit. You can you can feel the Spirit exuding from them when they're preaching, and their their preaching is not preaching of religion or traditions of men, but the teachings out of the actual scriptures. So come out of her, my people, come out of false religions. The Most High, Yahweh, He did not give us religion. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, to guide our lives. And uh, He gave us some feast days to celebrate with Him. And if you're doing anything other, you're basically following the heathen and you're a pagan. Uh, you know, regardless of what you might say with your lips. 
So study the word. I encourage you to, to come and check out our ministry and our pastors who will fill you with knowledge and understanding. Um, hope to come back and speak to you soon the next time the Spirit puts something in my heart. But just remember, be thankful. Every day that you're alive is a uh, is an opportunity to learn and grow and make things right. You know, there's no no other prize than getting into the kingdom. So anything else that's distracting you, is it worth it? We're talking about eternal life here in the kingdom with your Creator. Shalom. May Yah bless.